welcome to the legendary Charlie Burns bookshop here in Galway and we're with Mary Judy who has over the years recommended some of the very best children's books to me personally and I'm delighted to have her here she's going to do the couch Christmas book challenge for us and we're going to concentrate on kids books today so all kinds of different ages Mary yeah. so we're going to give you three minutes and you're going to have okay. to literally run around the shop and try and grab the best books that you think should be in every house this Christmas so where will we start? Um, probably with the picture books with the younger kids, okay. yeah. where's that? Over here we yeah. have, as you can see, tons and tons of picture books for all kinds of, you know, tastes and all varieties. Some are very Christmassy, some are wintry, some are not, some are just for fun. What's your favourite one out of this lot? Oh, uh, my favourite one out of this lot is probably, I, I got a real love of Franklin's Flying Bookshop when it came in. Okay. It's well, a wonderful store. And if you grab two more, what would you go for? Um, I would probably go with Penguin Problems. Penguin Problems is a really nice one for and are these yeah. picture books kind of ages anything from two and a half to six? Or? Yeah, that would be about right, okay. two and a half to six. That's about the age group. We do a story time and these are the books that we read. To and what about the President's read. Lasses? That Don't is a wonderful, do we do have that one. It's right over here where people can see it when they're walking into the section from up above. I love this. It is fabulous. Okay, so we've got our picture books for the younger group and where do we go now for, say, your six, seven, eight-year-olds, boys and girls? Six, seven, eight-year-olds are the beginner reader. They're starting to read on their own. I have a huge section over here of learning to read, well, learning to read and developing readers. Are these ones that you might read to your kids and uh, as you go along, they and kind they of maybe take over from you a little yeah, bit? Yeah, exactly. And exactly. what are your favourite here? I love my naughty little sister. They're yeah, great. the naughty little sister books, I've got the whole series and of that. Horrid and those Henry are great. And Horrid Henry always goes down really, really well. So if we were to grab three books from this area for your six to eight year old boys and girls, you what know, would you I for? think I might go with, I like Willow Valley. Oh, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely little sort of charming and yet really, you know, nice, easy to read stories. I would read those myself. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, what's next? What do you reckon? Um, well, I think we do have to grab my naughty little sister because she sells very well and boys and girls both. Oh, really? really well, like boys them. read this, yeah. Boys would read this, boys would like that. But boys probably want something a little more active. What about Fantastic Mr. Fox? We have that's, to put a roll dog. That's in. always, yeah, you have to put And there's always dog. Dr. Zeus. So you have to do Zeus. Cat in the Hat. Or which is your favourite Dr. Zeus? I would say I would go with Cat in the Hat. Cat, Cat in the Hat, okay. always, you know. They make my five year old laugh out loud until he falls over these books. They Dr. are Zeus. just fabulous. How long have we they? left? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, so oh, we dear. need some for the older group. Okay. So you're 10 to Older 12 group. year olds. Judy Curtin is a big favourite in Judy our Judy Curtin is wonderful and her new book, which won the Irish Book Awards, that is absolutely fabulous. Oh, fantastic. Yes, so two me. more quick ones, we're running out of time. Um, I'm going to go with The Explorer by Catherine Rundell, which is fabulous. And Polar Bear Explorers Club, Boys or Girls, again, wonderful. Perfect. Thank you, Mary. How much time have we left? We're done. Brilliant, We're well done. done. Fantastic, thank you. Now, can we have a quick chat just about some of the books? Um, uh, I know for people, when you, it's lovely to buy books for nieces, nephews, mm. any kids that are in your family. And sometimes it's hard to know what they've read, what they haven't read. But of the new books out, with the chances are they haven't got them. Yeah. What are the ones that you would go for? Um, I don't, I think I'm sold out of it. It's been selling so well, but my favorite throughout the year has been by Emma Carroll and it's called Letters from the Lighthouse. It's on its way back in. I'll have a huge stack of them. And it is a brilliant story. Okay. And again, boys or girls are going to love it. And what age group? Um, probably about nine plus on that one, nine to 12. And does something like the toy show have a really big effect? Do people literally come in right after the toy show and buy the books that they've seen? They do pay attention to the books that are featured on the toy show. Um, I would really love it if Ryan would put more books on the toy show, but anything that he talks about, they do come in and look for, yeah. Okay. And um, what is your most precious moment from all your years working in a bookstore? Oh, wow. Um, I think my most precious moment was actually took place during World Book Week, and a young boy had come in and... Um, he wanted a book, but he didn't have his voucher and he didn't have enough money. Um, and his class had just actually gone out the door and I made sure he got a book. I did not care whether or not, uh, because he was just really heartbroken because he didn't 
have anything, so I made sure he got that book. Well, yeah. thank you for doing this with us. This looks fantastic. So I think it's a good hamper. Come yeah. into Charlie Burns and get all your books for everybody in your family and all your friends for Christmas. Thanks, Mary. Thank you.